G'day everybody, I'm Dan, the Managing Director from Clark & Co Real Estate Executives and on behalf of myself and the whole Clark & Co team, we just wanted to bring you this quick spring selling season mid-market update. Gee, that was a bit of a mouthful. Look, it's been a crazy couple of months and even coming down to the months leading into the spring selling season, what we saw with interest rates are consecutively going up and now as we're heading through that spring selling season campaign, we've seen interest rates on, on pause we have seen a massive amount of buyer activity come into the market space. Which leads me to my next point. One of the properties that we brought into the market for Acacia Ave over in Beerburrum, uh, we had done some um, comparisons there, did a lot of market research, and by all indications, what we had seen is that property should sit in and around that uh, million fifty mark. Uh, well, I'm delighted to say and really proud of my team, we ended up securing a result nearly $100,000 over that asking amount. My sellers could not be happier. The buyer that's moving into the property could not be happier for moving into that area. As a matter of fact, the only people that are unhappy was the mountain of buyers that I had through that property who missed out. So right at this very particular time, I have a couple of fully qualified buyers that are looking in the Acacia Grove Estate in Beer Barham. So if you are a seller at this particular point in time in that area, please tap me on the shoulder because these buyers have asked me to reach out directly to you today to ask that question before their pre-approval run out, can you find me a property or are you willing to sell your property? So uh, my number will be down bottom. Please give me a quick call because these buyers are desperate to get into that area. So uh, one of the things that I get stopped in the street and asked all the time, whether it's in the pub, Woolies, uh, K-Hub or anything like is what is my prediction for the market coming up? Now, look, I don't have a crystal ball, but what I can tell you is this. And once again, with interest rates being on hold, and we don't know how much longer that's going to uh, to happen for, uh, word on the financial street is they'll potentially start receding in 2024, but there is no advice coming into the end of um, 2023 selling season. Uh, but whilst interest rates remain on hold and buyer activity is extremely high, we will see a very very strong finish to the spring selling season. Now that leads me to my next point. What advice would I give to buyers? Well, look, it's all good and a little bit bad. The best time to buy was yesterday. The next best time to buy is today and the worst time to buy to buy is tomorrow. Now, look, what do I mean by that? Let me give you a story. Uh, it's a little bit of a sad story. We're working with a young couple that are looking at starting a family. They had pre-approval up to around 800,000 at the start of this year. They hit pause on their purchasing journey and due to the interest rate rises, so it went up nearly you know, two and three quarter percent over that time frame from the start of the year to where we see us at the moment, they have been completely priced out of the market at the moment. So when they're looking at 800,000, now they're potentially looking at properties in and around that 700,000. Don't let this happen to you. Make sure that your pre-approval is solid. Make sure that you've, um, you've got a fantastic deposit and make sure you're purchasing sooner rather than later. I look at the market as though it's a bit of a bouncing ball in regards to price. So three to six months ago, we seen a little bit of a pause in that uh, in those property prices. Now, if at the bottom of that market is bounce, and I, I believe that's still gonna go up, probably till the end of spring, so you need to get into the market before we hear that top end of that um, rebound curve. Seller advice, what would I give uh, advice to sellers? Sellers is, is, is really simple. Two main factors control price in our current market. The first thing is buyer interactivity. So that's how many buyers we've got in the market or commonly known as your competition. So when we've got plenty of buyers in the market, that creates competition like we saw with for Acacia Ave, uh, we will see an increase in, in property prices. The next thing to affect that is definitely going to be how many properties are actually in the market. So it's that old story, supply and demand. What we're seeing at the moment and what I'm hearing from a lot of your buyers is this. Every time I pick up the phone and call a real estate agent, they're saying the same thing to me. I'm sorry, it's under offer. I'm sorry, it's under contract. Or I'm sorry, it's sold. So an agent, as an agent, when I hear that, it is basically telling me that there is a shortage of stock. So therefore, for our sellers out there today, I can tell you this with all good confidence. As long as that supply and demand still looks the way that it looks, uh, you're going to see an increase um, in your selling price, a reduced time frame on the market. So I would definitely be jumping off the fence if you're thinking of selling uh, and getting to the market as soon as as soon as possible. So with those two two factors and that predetermination price, I believe that 
we'll actually see days on market come back a little bit and prices go up. So that's the rest of my, uh, my hit prediction. Look, if you have any questions about buying, selling, renting, or even if you just got some questions about what I've discussed with you in this video, please reach out and give myself or the broader Clark and Co team uh, a call today. Thank you so much for your time.